Yo dudes, alright so it's coming up to two weeks I've been in the van so I'm just playing with all the power stuff, seeing what draws, what the laptops run, what the drones, the drones really suck some serious juice. Um, the DJI Mavic 2 Pro with three batteries is pulling um, 18, 18 to 20 amps like when that thing's falling ass. <laughs> so I try to only run it when I'm driving around. Hey, it charges so quick, I'm so amazed. It's faster than the Spark um, to charge up. So, that's a TV going. There's a TV. So what I'm doing, bought some property. I'm going up to go off grid up there with some wicking beds in 44 gallon drums, like 15 drums, I'm planting a heap of um, ginger, garlic, Ginger garlic, and yeah, let's go outside. Ginger and garlic and turmeric, they'll just be all beds. Um, running off an aquaponics system. And believe it or not, I can get certification of organics for that as long as it's all food grade. It's what I actually feed into the water system. It's a closed loop system, so the uh, fish produce the nitrogen, nitrogen go through the, the root system of each um, plant, turns it into a nitrate, bang, self-sufficient. I can lock it down every fortnight I'll do a run up there and top it all up. I'm just trying to get onto Vodafone, who's a phone company here in Australia. <clears throat> so I can have back to base monitoring from the farm, which is an hour and a half up north back to here. So I can monitor the water levels and all that sort of bizarre. But that's happening. That should yield me quite a few, over a, a year, a few hundred kilos of each plant. There's three, so I'm working on that. So stay tuned for this weekend. I'll go up and I'll take you up to the farm. So the beast is going awesome. I'm here at Dan's, one of my mates. He's uh, kind enough to let me work on the power system, upgrade the solar, Put in a Red Arc um, dual battery system. It's already got one in it, but I like Red Arc. It's Australian made, one of the best dual battery systems on the market. So it's going to be, you just do it right, do it once. Yeah, so that thing's kicking ass. I'm getting um, a kilowatt of power on top, and I'll upgrade that to 500 amps storage. I might have got myself a little present. It's hard getting up at 1am and going to work. Yeah. So this will become the solar powered bush beast up on the farm. It'll, it'll have like eight months reg -A. It'll just be up there. And then this beast will be the um, Harris Holistic Health beast. So for the drone photography, and health like the massage the hot rock massage and all that sort of stuff that i do that'll be the car for that and uh yeah so stay tuned guys thanks for all your support and ideas um the wicking beds i'll show you how to do all of that sort of wicking bed once i get established up there i'm waiting for two 40 foot shipping containers to get delivered i'll build an arch between the two shipping containers seal in the um thousand litre tanks for the fish there's two of them and then they'll feed all of um, the aquaponic system and then that there will be tapped off into some of the wicking beds for automatic top up so it's coming it's going to take time but this is part of the downgrading that i've been trying to do so the house is gone haven't even thought twice about it um, got my son a car, so he's all hooked up now. Got my daughter a pair of Dr. Martin boots. Oh, get this. Nelly had a heart attack. Dr. Martin boots. Dude come up to us and said, we have a vegan range. Yeah, Dr. Martin boots has a vegan range. I nearly fell over and was about to walk out of the shop. Dr. Martin boots last for 10 years because they're damn leather. 
vegan fucking rage. Oh my god. This planet is losing the shit. So anyway, nothing against vegans, but don't come and bloody interfere with Dr. Martin Boots. Right? Anyway, stay tuned. Next adventure we'll be going up to the property, taking you around there. Yeah. Cool. Stay tuned, guys. See ya.